there's four dogs, five dogs. Mozzie, you want to come out? Six dogs. I know Grant don't want to. He's snoozing in his house. Yes, he is. He is snoozing. At least the last I looked at him, he was snoozing. He was actually snoring. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, it's Tuesday. It's been a week since I last posted a video. When I last posted a video, Marley had had his little bump on his nose removed. Um, let me share with you how it, let me fix your beard hair. Oh, you got a Oh, I thought you had a piece of grass in your stitch. Um, I hope you can still see the stitches there. They're kind of a bluish purple color. Um, he's doing great. He only had to wear his Kona shame for about oh two and a half days he would kind of paw at his nose a little bit probably because it was hurting um had some discomfort but um after that day after those about two and a half days three days we'll say he hasn't had to wear his cone at all he's been great it's healing up great um and he's doing good he goes back august 22nd to get those stitches out so, yesterday, on Monday, uh, Dr. Cocaine uh, called me to let me know the report came in. Let me see. Oh, my goodness. Hey, 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 hey. You guys go play. I got to talk to our friends. No, no. I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna cover the ball off with my legs. See what happens. <laughs> Hold on, guys. All right, I put the ball on the table there. <laughs> Mickey is not happy about it. I bet any money once I walk away. He's going to probably go up there. Oh, he's going to get his frisbee. Great. Just great. I was going to say, I bet he goes up there, gets in the chair, and grabs the ball off the table. <laughs> so anyways, got the report. Uh, and Dr. Cocaine called me once she got the report. And let me know that basically the gist of the report is... They're pretty sure it's a benign tumor. Uh, it's called an inflammatory something tumor. I'll type it here on the screen because I can't remember offhand. Um, that's what they're leaning toward. But they also wanted to throw in there that it, there's a slight chance that it could be a soft tissue sarcoma, which is cancer. Um, I thought I was going to get the answer back. Yes, it's cancer. No, it's cancer. Um, I just that, thought that's how it would work, but I guess not. They're, but they are saying they most likely feel it's the benign tumor. But to keep an, but to be cautious, keep an eye on the area to make sure it doesn't grow back. If it grows back, that means it's a soft tissue sarcoma. I believe that's what it's called, and it's cancer. Um, so we're gonna say, and I hopefully you guys will say prayers with me too. Um, that this is cured, it's all taken care of, and it was a benign tumor. Um, I posted the, uh, I posted the report that Dr. Cocaine sent me. I posted it on our Schnauzer Mom Facebook page, and I posted it here on the community page on YouTube as well, if you'd like to read it yourself. Um, I got a new microphone. It's on my camera right now um i was having problems with when i'd zoom in and out my voice would go in and out as well so i'm gonna zoom in on the dogs over here tell me if my voice sounds different can you hear me does my voice go out does it get softer let me know i'm curious to know if this microphone is going to help at all because it's kind of hard um, when i film the boys outside not being able to zoom in and out they're so far away from me sometimes 
um, and it's hard when you guys can't hear me. Um, and we've tried to get in the settings on my camera and we cannot figure it out, my daughter and I. So I bought this microphone that hooks up to it to see if it helps. So let me know when I zoom in and out if my voice stays the same or if it's still going in and out. I'd appreciate it. So the roof is done. Um, my last video where I shared uh, Marley getting his surgery last week on Tuesday. Um, I also showed you guys that our roof was getting started. Um, it's finally done. They told us it was going to take two days. Look at, he went and got it. <laughs> you don't care what mom does. You don't care if I put it on the table. You just go back and get it. Just like a little toddler. <laughs> um, they told us it was going to take two days to do the roof and the new gutters and downspouts. It took three and a half. And people who have dogs, especially multiple dogs like I do, seven, when there's work going on at your house, people um, all over your yard. And my house, of course, has windows that the dogs can clearly see out of really good. And when they see people in and out of the yard, it's a bark fest. <laughs> It is a bark fest. So those three and a half days, not only with the barking going on, but also trying to figure out how to let the dogs in and out to do their business. It was a pain, let me tell you. It was a pain in the butt. Yes, it was. Hey, let me try to get my shadow. Let me try to get my shadow out of here. Pain in the butt those three and a half days, let me tell you. So that all got done. They were very nice and left their a uh, little rolly industrial strength magnet so I could go through the backyard and the front yard or driveway all over and look for any nails that may have been missed. And boy, were there a lot of nails that were missed from their cleanup. So I was very thankful. He lives in the neighborhood across the street from me um, in our old neighborhood. Um, he, uh, very nice to let me use that because uh, I was very concerned one of the boys were going to step on a roofing nail. So I was very thankful to him for letting me use that. Um, so it's all done. Thank goodness. I'm so happy. But now we just found out today my husband has COVID. So <laughs> this past week with Marley's surgery, with the roof and my husband being sick, he went to the doctor yesterday. They did a test where they had to send it off and he found out today he has COVID. So now... I'm disinfecting everything. Um, I'm probably going to, I hope I don't get sick, but. I, so pray for me too tonight, you guys, that I do not get sick. Um, Cause with my husband sick, if I get sick now, if he gets better and then I get sick, that's fine. He can help take care of the dogs, but um, <laughs> it won't be a good thing if we're both sick at the same time. Oh my goodness, yeah. So this week has been crazy, this past week. Yes, yes. I'll tell you what, when the um, roof was all done, the boys were so happy to have their yard back um, and have their routine back, because our routine was off, because I was having to get up at six in the morning, because they would be here, the one guy would be here like at 6.30 in the morning, getting things set up, and they'd start working at seven. So, um, I get up early, but I don't get up that early. And, um, so routines were thrown off. Max had an issue because of his routine being thrown off. He had diarrhea in his crate in the middle of the night one night. Um, cause he was having problems with doing his business. Um, not being able to be free in the backyard and doing his business like usual, if you know what I mean. So I think he was holding it. Um, yeah, so I got woke up to that in the middle of the night one night. Needless to say, I made sure he did his business from then on, uh, then on out. Uh, yeah, so they were happy to have their routine back after those roofers left. <laughs> it is not fun having work done around the house with seven dogs. No, it's not. Um, so, all right, guys, I'm going to get going. Um, oh, I do want to say thank you to Paul. He sent the boys a box of goodies. Thank you so much, Paul. I'll, I'll go in and share. I have not 
um, shown the dogs yet because I wanted to share it on video first. So once I'm done out here cleaning up the landmines um, and letting the boys be outside for a while, I'll go in and I'll share what Paul sent the boys. So thank you so much, Paul, for thinking of the boys. And he uh, mentioned in his card he sent um, that he wished I was on, um, was making more YouTube videos. I wish I was too. I wish um, life wasn't crazy right now. <laughs> um, having everybody here doing the roofs, dealing with the boys. Now my husband's sick. The last thing I think of is picking up the camera and filming. And I know um, that's terrible, but it's the last thing on my mind right now. Uh, filming, especially with now my husband's sick and trying to make sure... My daughter and I don't get sick. Um, and taking care of the boys, taking care of Marley after his surgery. Um, it's hard to pick up the camera. Um, and I feel terrible. I feel bad because I know you guys want to see what's going on with the boys, but sometimes it's just, it gets to be um, too much. So I hope you guys understand. Um, after my husband gets over the sickness and if I don't get sick, hopefully, we could start having videos out on a more routine basis. Every time I say that though, it seems like something gets thrown at me that throws that off. <laughs> it just always seems to happen. So, all right guys, let me um, clean up this yard and share with you what Paul sent. All right guys, let's share what Paul sent the boys. He sent them some Freshen up wipes. Yes, these are perfect for freshening up the boys. So thank you so much, Paul. Um, especially when they're outside and they do their business and sometimes they have a little bit of a dingleberry hanging back there at the back end, if you know what I mean. These come in very handy. So thank you, Paul. <laughs> That's probably TMI. TMI. I uh, also sent this a bo boomerang. It says it's bacon scented, so oh, they're gonna love this. Yes, I'm um been waiting so I could share this on video, but I know Mickey's gonna love this. We'll have to take this outside later. Um, a chew and clean twisty bone chew toy. Thank you, Paul. A couple little chuck it balls. You know, those will be popular. Um, this is a uh, Hurley for tough chewers. Cool. Little toy for chewing on. Um, and then he also sent some, um, Bucky slices. Grasslands venison. Freeze dried. I love that. Um, and then some more treats by Full Moon. These are free, they're savory sticks, beef, they're beef flavored. Thank you, Paul. And then he also sent this t-shirt, which is awesome. Dog mom. You know, I'll be wearing that. Thank you so much, Paul, for the gifts. We really appreciate it. Especially the boys, especially for some new treats to try. It says made in the USA. Ameri or, uh, USA grown. So the beef is also from the USA. So that's awesome. Thanks so much, Paul. Um, okay, so do you want to see Merlin? Merlin is here. Checking out what the boys got. Sorry about the boys barking. We have the lawn people here right now, and I'm sure that's what they're barking at. So there's Merlin. He's been doing good. Haven't you, Merlin? Haven't you, Merlin? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's go see if we can find Kitten. Here's Kitten snoozing away. This is what he does most of the day. Um, see what I mean by bark fest? <laughs> Whenever there's anyone in our yard, it's a bark fest. I 
I don't know if you just saw the curtains going nuts. I thought they were going to rip the curtains out of the window. They're spraying for mosquitoes. So that he was right up spraying underneath here and in the bushes. Oh my goodness, these dogs. So that's what it was like for three and a half days. But I ended up closing the, po there's a pocket door right here. And then I have a white gate that goes across this big space here. So I was having to keep them out of the front room when the roofers were here because they had their trailer and everything set up in the front and they had a ladder right here going up and down off the roof. And it was just, it was too much. So I had to close them off from the front room. Oh, there's Grant. That way you can see Grant in the video today since he was snoozing earlier. Um, and they were so upset because this is their room up here and they just were following me around staring at me like, let us in our room, mom. <laughs> It was really, it was, it was a really tough three and a half days with the bathroom situation for them and keeping them out of this room because they just love looking out these windows and watching the day pass and keeping an eye on the neighborhood. So thank goodness that is over with. Um, there's Marley. It's a, it's a kitty, uh, tower, but it's a Marley tower really because the kitties really don't go in it. Marley does. <laughs> That's Marley's little spot. Yes, it is. Or or down here. He'll go in here, too. He thinks he's a kitty. So, all right. Thank you again, Paul. Thank you, guys, for being patient with me about videos. I apologize again to Paul and to everyone that the videos have not been regular. Um, but hopefully we can get back to it. I'm going to, I am going to say right now, I have been feeling kind of tired today. Um, and worn out. So I'm hoping it's not the signs of getting sick. I'm hoping it's just the stress of everything else. Um, so say a little prayer for me too, along with Marley tonight, um, that I don't get sick. And that my daughter, and that my daughter doesn't get sick. Okay. It's going to become a bark fest. So I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great week. Thank <laughs> you.